Next up, we're going to create our task definition. Now we've already got the heading task definition and we need to answer these five questions. So to make it easier, I'm actually going to copy all of this and just go and paste it in my document. Now the five sentences that are in bullets need to be heading two styles and then you can remove the bullets. You have to because they aren't real bullets. And then these sentences you cannot leave there. You have to actually answer these questions. This is just to help you answer the question. So let's go through them one by one. Alright, so you need to keep the topic in mind and this year's topic is an online activity. But I'm going to say for an example, my topic is gardening. So you need to provide a clear statement of the problem, so the current situation. So what is the current situation around gardening? Who is all gardening? What are the problems around gardening? Why do I feel the need to actually write the report? Okay, then I also need to state, very important, and the purpose of this investigation. So the purpose, the reason why I'm actually writing this task or this project is to inform people about gardening and how to do safe gardening, to actually wear hats, um, something like that. But the point is not actually to present any research now. The point is just to say what my goals are at this stage. So what, because I mean you have done some pre-reading by now I'm sure. So it's not like you have to present any research at this point. Just say currently what the situation is on your topic. What's the a brief overview, a sentence or two, of what the state is under teenagers around the specific topic and what you what your aim is, your purpose of this investigation, what why you are doing this investigation. Just a sentence, but you have to include both of those to get that mark. Secondly, what your focus of the investigation will be. Now, if you're using my suggestion then you can refer basically to these three headings, but please use different kinds of headings. It shouldn't be exactly what I've said, but something about that you will be discussing what it is, um, what all the dangers are, and how people can find balance, or how they can minimize the risks, or something like that. So the focus of the investigation is the headings you will use, that is the three subtopics which you are actually investigating. Next up, you will talk about how you are going to conduct the investigation, considering the PAT requirements. So you need to study the requirements or the steps of the PAT and to intend and indicate how you intend to collect the data, blah, blah, blah. So for this, you need to go back to the PAT document, go up to page three, and have a look at this table. This table tells you what the focus is of each phase and basically what you'll do. So use this table to get the answer. This has to be a discussion on uh, in phase one, what is it you're going to do? In phase two, what is it you're going to do? Phase three, that's what you're going to do. Who the information is for identifying the target audience that is completely up to you so here you just need to state what you need to what you're aiming to do with this who are you giving this research to you can even say you are planning to give it to who, whoever is the person in your life who has authority over what you are allowed to do online to maybe convince them to allow you to do more online gaming or whatever um so who the information is for target audience is completely up to you. 
And then lastly, the format the information will be presented in. You actually have to list the programs that you will be using for each phase of the PAT. And for that, you can refer back to the same page and you'll see it actually tells you which programs you'll be using. And if you look at um, the phases over here, it also tells you which programs you use. You can just ask your teacher if you're not 100% sure, but I'm sure if you read this page, you'll get a good idea. And then you're done with your task definition.